Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Dragon Quest XI, Echoes of an Elusive Age, Definitive Edition. We are back, continuing on with the story that we finished last time, and my Street Fighter VI updated. Uh, anyway, so there is an Act 3, like I said in the last video, there is an Act 3. Uh, some people try to claim that they just stop after two because they don't like how the third one ends or they don't want to take the time to do the third act, whatever it may be. Um, there is a third act and that's the true ending of the game. That's the actual canon ending of the game. So, and after taking a vote of people, both on Twitter, on YouTube, on Facebook, wherever it was, um, most people actually said that they wanted to see the all the quests and all the, the the, the stuff on the side that I kind of brushed past in the previous uh, thing. So, totally cool. I love that idea. I'm totally cool with doing it. Um, our, well, I'm going to actually read this one because I haven't read this one in a long time and we're actually past the story now. Our heroes survive a blistering battle to topple the Lord of Shadows at long, long last. Free from Mordigan's malign influence, the world tree begins to return to life. And as its healing powers pour out over Erdrea, light and love bring the land alive once more. Their quest complete, there's nothing left for the companions to do now but return home. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go through and I'm going to play through all the side quests and all, all the stuff that we have yet to finish. The Lord of Shadows is defeated and peace returns to the world. A few days later, Nord and his companions gather in Arborea to remember their friend Veronica. Oh, two cups. Look, Veronica. Everyone's here to see you. We've come to celebrate with you. The world's at peace at long last. <gasps> and Yggdrasil's in full bloom again. It's so beautiful. still hasn't sunk in, you know? We really did it. We really saved the world. Yes. Mordigan plunged Erdria into darkness. So many lost their lives. But we survived. We have to make the most of that. We have to laugh and smile for those who can't. We may feel like crying. Goodness knows I do. But we mustn't. <laughs> I can only imagine what Veronica would say. Pull yourselves together. You've saved the world, you idiots. What are you blubbering for? <laughs> Excuse my awful impression. <laughs> 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 Here you all are. Huh? Mm -hmm. We were wondering where the guests of honor were. The festivities have already begun. It's party time. Come on, darling. Let's go let our hair down. That was nice. like peace has even loosened up the Arboreans. Then what are we waiting for? Let's make this a party to remember. For Veronica. <laughs> Alrighty. Hey, we got a trophy. Cool. Uh, after defeating the Lord of Shadows and restoring the world, tree to its rightful place in the sky. Oh, boy. Okay, so... Oh, he's getting all the ladies. I, I must protest, ladies, please. I'm merely a soldier of Heliodor. I, uh, I hardly think I deserve such praise. 
Nor of these ladies will not let me alone. Do something to rid me of them, I beg you. <laughs> That's awesome. There's something I've been meaning to ask. When we finished off Mordigan, you swiped a sword, right? The Sword of Shadows? It may look kind of creepy, but underneath all those razor-sharp teeth and bulging eyeballs, it's still the Sword of Light. Have you tried using it yet? Oh, that's right. That's right. Let me get my... Yeah, that still messes me up. Going from the original Dragon Quest to this one, this... Or, sorry. This, uh... This one does not pop up. If you press Start, this one doesn't pop up. So it's getting confused with all the ones we still... Like, the, the menus that we have... Look at that. 703. 703. From 605. Calls forth a devastatingly dark and destructive force to strike a single enemy when it's used as an item in battle. Jeez. Charm goes down. You can't block with it, which is weird. It's huge. Defense goes down. Um, yeah, we can't bump it up anymore. Still, that's a, look at that thing. How can you not block with that? How? I kind of like my other sword, though. Okay, so this one was 391. I mean, it's a beefy beefy boy. The Heliodor one is kind of like a nice little nod to everything though. I mean you have the Sword of Light, you have the Drazillian Armor, and then you have the the Shield of Heliodor. So it's, it's got like all three facets of his life coming together. I like that. Um, okay, who else? Sylvando. Fabulous, isn't it, darling? I never thought I'd see the day our Boreans would be tripping the light. Fantastic with yours truly. The Lord of Shadows stole everybody's freedom, but now they are free again, free to dance, dream, and most of all, to smile. Hooray. He's a great guy. Okay. Jade and Rab. Ever since I lost you those nights all those years ago, I've been driven by one purpose and one purpose only, to destroy the darkness that took you from me. And at last, done, I'll have to think of another reason to get up in the morning now. <laughs> Actually, I did want to help get Helidor back on its feet. Oh, and I wanted to try all the different cakes in Gondolia, too. Right. Maybe there are other, uh, one or two other things to live for. <laughs> yep. B rebuilding a nation and cake. That's what I would do. Oh, would you look at all these smiling faces? It's really true, I... We really did save the world. Can I remember the last time I felt so chirpy? I've been running from the Lord of Shadows for so long, I've forgotten what peace and quiet felt like. There's still a few things left to do, uh, go back and how they were, but my dream of life, of life of leisure and laziness, is not far off now. And then, I bet you she's back by... Oh, she's up here, okay. With a new leaf appears in the world tree's branches, when a new leaf appears in the world tree's branches, a new life begins. Each of us has our own leaf on those mighty bows, and each of us returns when we die. Veronica may no longer be with us, but her spirit lives on, and one day we will meet again. One day we'll be will return to our place on those branches. But not just yet. I have to live my life. I have a life to live, and I must live it to the fullest, for my sake and for hers. So I think all we really have to do is um, just talk to the people that we, we just talked to. Like, see what our friends were up to. I don't think you can actually... Oh, you can still buy stuff. Okay. That's a wicked looking one. Um, I don't think there's anything in here that we need. Paladin's Lance is cool. Your earrings. Oh, uh, no. I could probably sell some more stuff, though. Um, let's see here. 
I believe we just have to leave. Maybe? There we go. Hey, where do you think you're going? Sneaking off without us, honey. If you've got some place to be, we can all go together, no? <laughs> of course we can. Now the world is at peace, the fun can really begin. If you're looking for new adventures, I know where we can start. You saw that weird light shining south of Octagonia too, right? If it was up to me, that's where I'd be headed. But you're the boss. All right. We have a brand new adventure. Um, well, let's get out of here first. So, uh, let's go to... A couple things have popped up. So let's take care of those. Um, that would be Octagonia from there. No, that's Octagonia. Let's go to Porto Valor. Let's see what that's on about down there. Hope you guys are doing fantastic, though. Uh, it's a beautiful day out. Got some nice little cream soda to drink. Which is quite tasty. Haven't had that in a while. Now where... Where is this coming from? Oh, Don's house. Okay. Let's go take a look at what's up with him. And I take it it's coming straight from him. So it looks like it's his room. Oh boy. Still nimble for an older man. <laughs> Caramba! I did I did not realize the dancing required so much stamina. <sighs> That's awesome. Norberto, what are you doing here? I expect you to return so soon. Your dad said he needed to get his strength back, so we agreed to teach him a few moves. He's natural, don't you know? Took to it like a duck to water, he did. But then he is your puppy, I suppose. Silencio! Ah, enough with your nonsense! A man needs his peace and quiet. Take your silly dancing somewhere else! <laughs> don't go taking that tone with us, mister. You were the one who was talking about wanting to surprise Sil with a little show. <gasps> a show? Oh, yes. You should have heard him. Couldn't stop going on about how he's a big dance fan now. And he sees why you love it so much. Papi, is this true? No, oh, of course not. It is nonsense. I am a knight. I do not have time for dance. It is pointless frivolity. <gasps> oh, Papi, I'm so happy. When do I get to see the full routine? <laughs> the full... Well, now... <clears throat> Come on, puppy. A knight's word is his bond, remember? <clears throat> Fine! Come, chicos. We will show Norberto what we can do. We will give him the performance of a lifetime. The training ground will serve as our stage. We begin preparations immediately. Venga, venga! Sir, yes, sir. Oh, that's funny. 
All right, I don't think there's anything in here we need to grab quite yet. Uh, yeah, we just need to go see him. I believe there is um, a costume that we have to get. It's maybe from him. This is so draining. I will keep practicing. I will show no birth that this puppy can dance with the best of them, Mega. Or maybe not. Yeah, I mean, that's still there. Maybe we don't have to talk to him yet? still here though and I don't know why it was a big shock to us I am sure the first time I saw it I cannot believe my eyes okay so it's not you so, uh, seeing down Rodrigo in such high spirits is a source of great relief and joy for me sir Norberto has done a great deal with his father I'm looking for Don Rico. He is out of the training grounds with some of his uh, chicos from the parade. You should go and talk to him. He'll be very pleased to see you. We were just there. Yep, he just says the same thing. So I think we might be done with that one for now. And we'll come back a little later, maybe. Um... What is the one over there? The Viking hideout. It looks like it's a little bit beyond the Viking hideout, so maybe that palace where his sister was, where Mia was. And we'll find out. Okay. Whoopsies. Alright. Actually, it might just be in here. We can see you, Mia. Come on out. No, I'm staying here. I'm not going anywhere. The Lord of Shadows is gone, and the world's at peace. So what are you sulking about? I'm not sulking. It's just... The priest told me what happened. I don't remember any of it. But he said I turned into a monster and terrorized the town. He said I even tried to hurt you. You and your friends must hate me for what I did. I'm plenty used to being hated, but still. <gasps> hey, what's this? Somebody's dropped a gold coin on the floor. <gasps> Where is it? It's mine! <laughs> oh. That's the Mia I know. Sitting in the corner feeling sorry for yourself doesn't suit you, kiddo. Oh, you tricked me! Now I feel stupid for worrying you didn't like me any- <gasps> Why don't you stop worrying about stuff that doesn't matter, and start worrying about yourself? You need to get better. I can't exactly take you on a treasure hunt if you're gonna be fainting every five minutes. <gasps> a treasure hunt? Sure. As soon as you've got your strength back, we'll go on a trip round the world on the lookout for loot. Just you and me. What do you say? <sighs> oh, uh, well, uh, if it's something you really want to do, I suppose I don't mind keeping you company. <laughs> That was cute. 
Treasure hunting with Eric, huh? I know that it was in the cards. I would never have run away. Tell him to come get me as soon as you're done doing whatever it is you have to do. And tell him not to keep me waiting too long. And tell him I get first dibs on whatever treasure we find, too. Okay. So, uh, she must be the thing here. Just, I guess, checking in on people? Uh, what's another one we got? What is this one? One over by the ruins of Dundrazil. Hmm. Everything's all green. Well, still got flaming boulders everywhere, but. Well, that's mysterious ruins. Oh, kitty. Um, let's see here. There we go. Oops. think yeah okay now we take a right my kitty's better Looks a might familiar. Aye, it's these funny wee buildings. We've seen them before. Yes, there's no mistaking it. It looks just like the floating island where we met the Watcher, doesn't it? Ah, that's where they're from. Let's go and take a closer look. Who knows? We might find something interesting. Alrighty. Um, want a book? Oh, okay. I was hoping it was a, uh, I was hoping it may have been a recipe. Doesn't look like it though. What do we got over here? What you looking at, bud? Oh, can't jump that. She's looking at something, though. This painting... It's fascinating. It really... Draws you in, doesn't it? The whale... Mm -hmm. The lantern... Me of something. Ah, of course. I've been reading a book they say was written by the Watchers of late. Let me see if I can find the right part. Spirits of lost time. Beings born from the land. Beings who control time. Spirits of lost time. Could they be these figures in the painting? According to the book, they guard the sacred light that controls the flow of time. And when that light burns bright enough, even those who are lost to eternity can be restored. Restored? How, exactly? You mean like, brought back to life? Wait, if that was true, then maybe, or just maybe... Huh? Think about it. We lost someone to eternity, didn't we? Someone we'd love to see again. 
Say about this light. Light lives in Tower's heart. Sacred Tower. Tower of Lost Time. Watchers guard Wheel of Time. Key to Tower. Key to Time. Key brings spirits. Sets wheels in motion. So if we had the Wheel of Time, we might... We might really be able to... <sighs> what have we got to lose? If there's even a chance, we have to try, right? <laughs> Eric's right. No matter how unlikely it is, if it might be our chance to see her again, we simply have to try. Interesting. Mm -hmm. But the watchers are all gone, right? So how do we find this wheel thingy? This was once one of the islands, wasn't it? And I'd say that hole in the wall up there was pretty wheel-like. I reckon we could do worse than start our search right here, you know. There's a way through up there. Let's go poke around some more, shall we? Interesting. Alright, we're going to be finding or trying to find a way to bring Veronica back. But that's going to have to wait until the next episode. We're already booking over 25 minutes. So I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care and peace out.